Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel and I hope you all are doing good. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you some things that help me increase my fluency in English. English is my second language and I am a native Urdu speaker, but I have always studied English as a subject in school since I was a kid. This video is specifically for those people who know English, who understand it, who can read it, but they are uncomfortable or they are hesitant to speak it in front of other people or they lack the fluency in speaking. So if you were in search of such video, you are at the right place. Without any further ado, let's just go ahead and get right into it. The first thing that I would suggest and that helped me a lot is reading. I read a lot, like literally a lot. And I recommend the same for you. Uh, read anything, be it books or magazines or newspapers, anything or everything that interests you, but read. Reading really helps. And one thing that I would suggest you to do is to read aloud. When you read aloud, what really happens is that it helps you in making your muscles, especially the tongue muscles and the vocal muscles, get into the habit of pronouncing and forming out the words that are different from your original language or your native language. For example, for me, I speak Urdu and English is completely different from Urdu. So when you read aloud, you are making your muscles feel comfortable in pronouncing and forming the words and sentences of other language. And the second benefit of reading aloud is that it makes you feel comfortable in speaking it, which really helps in the fluency and the flow with which you are speaking. Number two is watch interviews. Watching interviews helps with the communicative skills. So if you lack in communicative skills or you don't know what to actually talk about with other people, if you meet some native speaker or if you want to talk with someone in English and you don't know what to speak, then watch interviews because they really, really help. At one point, I was obsessed with watching interviews. I watched a lot of celebrity interviews. If I was watching a movie or, or a TV show or a documentary or whatever, I would just literally go on YouTube and find all the promotional interviews and watch every single one of them. And that really helps in the communicative skills. Celebrity interviews are informal, so they will help you in your daily communication or how to speak and what to speak on a day to day basis. Watching interviews also helps in pronunciation. So a lot of the times we are mispronouncing things, but watching interviews will help you get the first hand understanding and first-hand listening to what the word or sentence sound like. If you're not interested in watching celebrity interviews, then maybe watch political debates. They are formal and you will learn a lot. You can also watch TED Talks. They are a great source of information, but at the same time, they are also a great way of understanding how to speak formally because they are formal talks and you will understand how to speak and what to speak in a formal situation. Even though they are not conversations, but still, if you are preparing for a talk, TED Talks are a great place for you to understand things. Number three is watch movies or TV shows. If you are fluent in speaking English, then sometimes it happens that you can't understand the accent of the other person. Maybe they are from Australia or maybe they are from America or Britain or somewhere and you don't understand their accent. Movies help in that case. During movies, you can also find informal and formal situations. Maybe there was a conversation between a boss and an employee and you can understand how to speak in a formal situation through that or there is a conversation going on between friends then that's an informal situation so you will understand how to speak informally through that what i did was i watched sherlock from bbc one i am a big fan of this show but the first time that i watched it i watched it without subtitles it was actually my first time watching anything without subtitles so i watched it without subtitles and then i went on google and searched subtitles for Sherlock and then I found a blog where someone had literally written subtitles of each and every episode so I read all of those subtitles and then I went back and watched the episode again to understand better and after a couple of months I didn't need any subtitles to help me with understanding the natives or understanding what the person the people are saying in the movie. Number four is to help you in feeling comfortable in speaking out loud and to remove your hesitancy. Record yourself. Place a camera in front of you and record yourself speaking English. You can make any sort of videos. You could recall your day or talk about something that you have watched or read or whatever. The point is, talking to a camera is really, really hard. Let's be real here. I don't know, but there is some sort of pressure while you are filming yourself and you are facing a camera. So if you are worried that you don't have anyone to talk to, talk to a camera. Record yourself and then Rewatch the video and in that way you will be able to understand the mistakes that you are making or if you have some bad habits like 
is saying like a lot or repeating some words or maybe you are saying uh, a lot in between sentences you are taking a lot of time in thinking once you know your mistakes you can then move forward and improve those mistakes but talking to a camera really really helps in removing your hesitancy and it makes you feel comfortable in speaking english out loud so these four things really help me in my fluency and also in understanding other people speak english especially natives at the end there are two important things that i would recommend number one is to watch or read something from the perspective of learning from it be it anything if you are watching something or if you are reading something learn from it and number two is if you struggle with motivation issues or if you struggle with sticking to something then dedicate some time every single day to this activity so these were some really fun ways of learning english or learning to increase your fluency or even increasing your vocabulary if you want to add something comment down below and that's pretty much it for this video guys i really hope that you liked it if you did please give this video a thumbs up and also don't forget to subscribe my socials are in the description and also the handles are on the screen so follow me there and i will see you guys in the next video inshallah till then take care god bless you assalamu alaikum bye